where no black person was getting picked up or having jobs, guess who had jobs? They was handing them out. Tyler. He was, hey, I was like, if y'all not watching what he's doing, mm -hmm. it might not be the people that you. he created his own black Hollywood. Exactly. Mm -hmm. See, and then Spike, what Spike do? And and I had, um, what's my man? Uh, who played Pinky? Pinky, no. <laughs> <laughs> who, 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 who? I'm not good with names. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was talking to him because he was on the radio one time and he went in on Spike. He was like, F Spike. Spike this Spike and I was like, hold up. I said I thought Spike was the man. Yeah. And then I talked to him one time personally at, at a little situation down here and he was like, It ain't what you think it is. And he told me some other stuff. And I was just like, ah But then like I said, they hating on Tyler because oh he dressed a black woman, he did this, he gay and I'm like, Hold up, I never got the whole why you worried about the sexuality there. Right. And if it's none he, of your business. Right. And then his you know, and if I was his, him from my perspective, I thought it was him uh it was a homage to his grandmother or something like mm -hmm. that for that speech. So I kind of got it, and I kind of get, like, for me, I can look at it from 360. I can look at it from both sides. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Emasculation, but if he's homosexual, and that kind of goes with the, the, the deal, been doing things like a woman. But the reality of it is, he was making cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. He was banking off them little shows. He with them tours and, yeah. and those stage plays and, the and everything else. Is it doesn't matter. It's not the problem that we have with society is we're so judgmental on the things that doesn't even matter. Instead of us being worried about what's happening in our elections and who are getting, you know oh, what I'm saying? Well, we're worried about no, people's sexual orientation. But remember, that's what we've been taught. Yeah. Remember, gen like we just talked about, generation after generation. Mm -hmm. Your concern ain't nothing else but the other people, and so you make sure you hold them down. Mm -hmm. That's like I said. That's a generational mindset that we have to break about ourselves because it's like, hey, instead of saying, hey, he make it bank, let me go be his friend. Yeah. Oh, that nigga okay. Oh, I can't stay him. Oh, he dressing like a woman. He emasculating a black man. Hey, how are you? You know what I mean. <laughs> hey, man. What's Good going on, sir? Down there, McCain. My hands are cold. Yeah. So, yeah. Your hands are so warm. Say hi. So. We're live. <laughs> uh, so you, uh, well, see me after. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So and then now, um, Whoopi just talked about his studio. Mm -hmm. Whatever black man has a studio. Yeah. Because they uh, remember, 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 remember what Hollywood Indeed. always say. Well, all black people say, oh, we don't have anything. But y'all ain't never put y'all money together. Mm -hmm. If y'all have all this wealth, why don't y'all pull y'all money and start your own awards? Why we have this mentality that people are supposed to give us. Your, well, exactly. we, we have the Which mentality of that we have to be accredited by somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yep. We have we we need to be uh, accepted, accepted and, by another and culture. And honored and instead of accepting ourselves. Instead of just right. taking of saying, pride in knowing what you have done and right. knowing that that can propel you forward oh. without having to get but, any confirmation from anybody. Right. That's the word I'm looking for, confirmation. But this is my mentality. And like I said, what I said on the show. You're deciding my world, 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 world. Mm -hmm. You're deciding my world. Mm -hmm. No, because like I said, uh, what was it, uh, what's the dude from Q-Tip? Um, Q-Tip uh, DJ, I forgot his name. I spoke to him one time. I said, dude, hip hop right now, and this was like early, early 2000s when hip hop was starting to transition. It was really starting to move, you know, because 80s and 90s it was moving, but now hip hop was the number one genre. Right. And I'm like, dog. Why don't Diddy, why don't Russell, why don't, you know, Dr. Dre, all the conglomerates come together and we control the business. Right. And he was like, it's like football. Everybody on the team ain't playing to win a championship. Mm -hmm. Some out there for the girls, some out there for the money, some out there for the fame, some out there for their family. Because there was one dude on the team, he had 12 brothers and sisters that he was taking care of. Yeah. So you're talking about serious? Oh, he was out, it, was, it wasn't a game for him. It won. He didn't laugh. He didn't smile yeah, because bad. every day he came in, it was life. he knew he had to maintain that money and that lifestyle for as long as he could because of his 12 brothers and sisters who all from the hood and they never did nothing. Mm -hmm. So guess what they was doing? He didn't never understand to get them like, okay, yeah. I can't keep feeding. They was you. eating off the of hand. Right. And that's I can't why he keep was just feeding. pouring into them. It's right. Like, you killing yourself for people who don't give a damn about you. Mm -hmm. oh, hey, man, you ain't got no more money. You know what I mean? Like what, what my father would call it, the gimmies. You, you, ain't, you ain't got nothing? Come on, man. You, I know you got it. Right. But, yeah, no, I can show you how to get it. Right. But for you to keep eating, that's called a parasite. Eventually, if the host mm -hmm. die, so does the parasite. Yeah. But people don't get that. And this is, like I said, for me, I just look at our, our history. Why do you want confirmation from people who keep killing you? 
on every aspect, financially, academically, just. Well, if you think about it, we come from a time when we were dependent on the others, other races, or other people it's to only one call keep us. Yeah, right. <laughs> we were dependent on that in order to get fed, in order to get what we needed, yeah, yeah. in order to keep us together. Right. And then they had the power yeah, to either force. feed us, we kill us, separate us. Right. Exactly. Right. That's the difference. So, and that's the what's been in our mentality. Chain. That's the yep. post-traumatic slave syndrome because we were forced for so long to think that this is the only way that we can live. This is the only means of my survival. This is the only way I'm going to eat. But people are understanding that now we do oh. have the power to eat and live and maintain on our own, but we're just stuck in that mindset and we don't realize we're stuck in that mindset because things look different or things are reincarnated different like you said the nfl is a um new form of slavery and then like the prison system we all know like that's definitely slavery reincarnated people don't even know that like federal uh, offenders if you served your term you can vote again but they don't publicize that enough and they don't changing in the laws yeah they don't they don't tell you that they're publicizing donald trump wanted to um repeal laws of natural what is it um any naturalized uh citizen born in the united states any naturalized person change what was the standard for being accepted and if he can change that then what makes people think that he won't go back and and change um the 14th amendment that's free and slaves you know what i'm saying that that if you were a slave in this country you sleep uh, free then you and your family are um, citizens. Right. He can go back and try to repeal that too, which is just it's so important that we pay attention to politics and, like you said, play it smart. Because if you don't play it smart, that's when everybody goes to attack you and they try to drag you down. So, Denarian, Monty has a question. Said, would you ever consider coaching college athletics? College, it would be small college or black college. That's only why I can't do big college. Big college comes, I've sat and watched it and watched the guys who come from the large it ain't nothing but the NFL, it's a smaller version of the NFL. Um, I don't like the egos. I'm, I know I have an ego myself, but it, too many egos in the room. I, I'm, 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 I'm pseudo violent. So you know, I got, I got, I, li- I like standing, <laughs> I like standing on this side of the bus. So you know, dealing with people, personalities, and I, I could do small college. I go back HBCU any day. And it's very political. Oh, right? my son. Yeah. It's all yeah, about the money. It's, it's, so, and it connects too. What do you feel about college athletes not getting paid off of their name and their and their, you know? Oh, that athletes. needs to change. That that should that should always like people don't understand what everybody think the college athlete gets all these perks. There's a benefit like anything else. Like a regular student perk is, guess what? You ain't gotta wake up four or five o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. and go run up and down some stairs to keep your body in shape. So mm-hmm. your perk is, guess what? You can do what you want to do when you want to do it. As an athlete, we don't have that. So now, yeah, just like the kids, like I said, the kids from Duke. Those three kids going to make Duke probably $10 million this year mm-hmm. and then go get paid. But why do they have to go get Duke $10 million? Because the only reason people going to watch Duke this year is because mm-hmm. of Mount Zion. Exactly. That's the only reason So why he should be making watch. money off his name. Right, because guess who face they play every five seconds on ESPN? Guess who dunk they show every five seconds of the So you don't own yourself nope. as a college athlete nope. or as a pro athlete. Nope. And that's a, it might be an issue now because I got I'm doing I try to trademark my name mm-hmm. and they deny me. So I got to figure out why they, how you how you get denied for trademarking your name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I never even knew that. I know. Um, I was told that Skip Bailey they were trying to kick him off because he was promoting his business off, but he didn't know the cameras were rolling, and that's part of the contract. So I don't know what he's doing. If it's some skip. vitamins, oh, minerals, something, yeah. Yeah, and skip, and skip my major um, pillar of the, of the of the of the journalism market right now. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. People don't like what he say, but he he he. I he like popping. Skip. Yeah, <laughs> he popping though. I like Skip and Stephen yeah. A. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they, they say they they, they kind of created that whole little market of that mm-hmm. battle, and they kind of branched out. Now they're trying to mimic it. So mm-hmm. you know, but. You know, like I say, it's, it's, if, if you ain't paying the top, it's a problem. If they ain't getting no dollars. But, um, yeah, I, I believe student athletes should get paid. Like I said, they don't know how you starve on the weekend, too, because the calf close. <laughs> like, people people just Terrible. don't know. Like I said, and these at the top schools. Yeah. This, ain't, this ain't just at the small, historically black college. These at the top schools. Um, Arian Foster was the only one that spoke, spoke the truth. Arian was like, yo, he called his coach. If you don't bring me something to eat, I'm finna steal something because I'm hungry. And we just won a national championship. 
Mm, mm, it's like you guys are sitting eating pretty and and eating fat steaks, and I'm over right. here hungry. Right. The, the, the student hall is closed. Was, what am I gonna uh, do? What am I gonna eat? The silly boy James Winston in Florida. Guess what? He, he went. He went and went and got something to eat because he thought he could eat for free. And then you lose your scholarships. They right. throw you out of school, and right. yet y'all making millions off my name, my face, of my course. image, my right. talent. Right. And I can't even feed myself. Nope. Yeah. All you so want is a meal. Nine times as a kid, ten as a kid, all you want to do is eat. Yeah. No, most of them ain't looking for money. Uh, eat and play. The kid, the kids that sold their jerseys, underbitted their jerseys from Nebraska. They sold each of their jerseys for like two hundred fifty. The jerseys was worth fifteen hundred easy. Mm. And and they all and all they did was they sent the money home. So, how many kids do you think actually are profiting behind the scenes versus the ones that... Because they always blow it out a proportion. Oh, these kids sold their jerseys. Do you think that's happening a lot? No. No. Because one of the kids... The next one. Okay. okay. So, you guys, we are going to end here. The next show is about to start. I have no idea if I'm on here or not. Right, Asia? <laughs> You're on there. You look good. Yeah, okay. Oh, by the way, guys. This is Asia. Oh. <laughs> Hola. So stay with us. We will always bring you extra things from behind the scenes of Get It Got A Good here at WBGR Health and Wellness. I appreciate you tuning into the show today and even the after show. Thanks. Have a good day, guys.